how my, you know, art starts. I used to play this with friends when I was in Morocco. And now I'm here. Making noise! The world is quite big. I was born here, in Morocco, north middle of Morocco. And I moved all the way to Finland, to Helsinki. My name is Yasin Khaled. I'm a Moroccan artist based in Helsinki. I have been here six years. I did my master here and after that I stayed here working as an artist. My first project when I was in Morocco was called Good Zero. I made a series of installations and works. It was the finance crisis in 2008. People lost homes, jobs. I was very interested about money as a product. I made a bill uh, which has zero and it, it means that it doesn't have any value and that was kind of a reflection for me to to represent the time of the crisis in the same time it's bringing the idea of the bill as something that it has value doesn't mean anything it's just a concept so when I came here, I started to think like how I can represent myself. It has been a little bit like complicated in a way to analyze the culture and in the same time having so much questions about my identity. And that is somehow led me to come up with a new project called Monitor Man. You know, there's a real you life around Maybe. you. <laughs> there's real life around you. Vous êtes où? Je suis au Maroc maintenant. Bonjour. À de Paris. Je sais. Je suis au Paris. Bon. Derrière, vous avez ça. Yes, sir. That's, that's a nice name. That's a, that's a nice name, uh, yeah. You can say so. Honey Hon, my name is Raida. R-E-D-A. Raida. Yeah, it's Raida. Nice to meet you. Where, are you, where, where are you? Where I'm from? I am from Morocco, actually. It's a city in the north of Africa. Okay. Do you know I, it? I don't know. Have you ever visited Morocco? Uh, Morocco? Morocco? Yeah. Uh, I'm from Korea. I'm from Korea, that's good. Korea, the South Korea or the North Korea? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Where are you? So, uh, I am from Morocco. My name is Reda. It's R-E-D-A. <laughs> I feel like I'm in TV. <laughs> 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 <la
What is your name? Hello? What? <laughs> I I remember myself I when I was a child and I was addicted to video games. I think Moniz Man has some things to do with that. I try to connect two people and to share two ways of communication through this platform of Monitor Man. People can talk to someone who's very, very far away, like how we become so much close to each other. Mid-March, borders closed, my school closed. Over Skype, my family tried to reassure me to stay in Finland. But it felt like I was in a box that kept getting smaller and smaller. I was concerned for my parents. If anything were to happen to them, it would be a long and difficult journey back, and I would have to quarantine two weeks before I saw them. By the time I arrived at my mom's place, I was fully informed by the news and paranoid that I was going to get her sick. I took all the plastic dry cleaning bags from the guest closet and slit them up to make a reinforcement. I used up all the duct tape and nails to keep the tarp up and secure along the doorways. For me it has been like, it's just a tool to make art, to make questions that's made my way of discovering myself, my self-identity, to come out through an uh, object. It doesn't matter if it's painting or photography or performance, it's just a way of expression. My art always deals with social cultural struggles, race issues, identity, migration, colonialism in general, and of course the arts problems. For example, when I go to see art in a museum, mostly I don't see myself there. I don't see any language that is talking about me as a many generation who lives here and participates to uh, to build this society. And I found that it's a fact of non-existence of the minorities and that matter a lot for me as an artist to challenge the issues. My aim is to invite people to get together and to experience the artwork, to emerge a connection with the work and each other's.